What is it, Billy? I found this museum online that claims to have 21 research centers. And why is that a problem? Because even with all that research, I'm not even in the database at all. Uh, well, Billy, but what have you done that is significant that would put you in a museum? Uh, I shot copper last year. Yeah, probably don't tell that to a government agency. Huh. Yeah. Wait, I single-handedly saved five potato chips from falling on the ground. Not even close. Ah, uh, fine. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. How could I get my name in that museum? You could dedicate the rest of your life to solving a problem. Nah, I'm just gonna write an angry letter. What? Well, if I write an angry letter to the people running the museum, then they'll have to listen to me. Uh, that's not really how that works. I'll get rid of all the stupid stamps you always want to get rid of. Go write the angriest letter you can. Uh, and use the whole sheet. Time to make some enemies. <laughs> There it is, the letter from the museum. Taking it, you got a response, huh? Yeah, and now that dumb old Smithsonian better put me on their website. Hmm. Wait, this was all about the Smithsonian? Here it is. I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good. That, that, uh, what? 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. What is it? It says that my letter has been received and flagged as a threat. And they, they might choose to press charges on me and get me arrested. What? What'd you say in the letter? Oh, nothing bad. Just if they don't put me in the database, they will single-handedly destroy every single one of the employees that work there. Wait, right here it says that there's one thing we can do to be freed from their accusation. Oh, no. Uh, this sucks. Yep. Well, Billy, it's either this or possibly prison. Hey, prison doesn't sound that bad. Billy, just do it. Fine. Alrighty. First Thanksgiving reenactment, take one. Ah, Jonathan the second. Just but a fortnight until we see this new world we've only dreamt about lying our heads on our pillow bears since the days of yore. I simply cannot wait until my feet caress the earth of a land that I never could have foreseen in my... Do we have to talk like this? Just talk normal if you want. Thank you. Yeah, in two weeks we'll see this really cool sounding new world that these snobby Spanish people have been talking about. Ah, uh, yes. I can't wait to eat my first ear of corn. Oh, uh, wait. I don't know about that yet. Oops. Aha! Land ho! Ah, uh, yes. This will be the start of a long new adventure. Huzzah! We're here. I say we call this land after me. We shall call it Edmondville. Well, actually... This land already has a name. 
And what would that be? Plymouth? What a dumb name. It's pronounced Plymouth. Oh. Well, it's lacking a very important feature. And what is that? My name. All right, Copper. It's time for our scene. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, why do you look like that? It's the only thing I could find at Party City. Why do you look like that? Uh, it's all I could find at Party City as well. Let's just get this done before Billy gets arrested. I don't like those guys one bit. Yeah, they look pretty suspicious. Not like the Europeans. They've got to be good news to us. What should we do with them? Trade. Why do you always say that? It works, doesn't it? Eh. Why don't we go over there and trade them our food? Because everyone wants corn. Well, Copper, you're supposed to say maize. Corn maize? They were invented back then? Ay, ay, ay. Let's just trade. All right, all right. Let's just see if they want to trade. Oh, I'm nervous. I hope they like us. <laughs> are you there? They have weapons. Uh, let's ask them to trade. No! Hey, you want to trade? Uh, trade? I love trading. Trading is what we are built for. You guys got corn? Ah, shoot. I don't know about that yet. Oh, I'm bad at this. Uh... We got maize. Yeah, maize. Oh, maize. What's maize? Corn. We got corn. Finally, it's about time. You know what? Let's prepare them a feast. A unique one that will never happen ever again. We'll call it thankful giving. Nah, too long. Thanksgiving. All right, Billy, once we submit this, you should be off the hook. Uh, I feel like my character didn't have enough emotional depth. I feel like my character should have more connection with the other characters and have a greater, greater attitude. I mean, it's fine, I guess. All right, let's just submit this. No? Already? No. Guess what? The letter came in. <gasps> really? Are you off the hook? Kind of. See you in 90 days. W wait, what? Well, it's only for 90 days. It was two years, but I tried, so they diminished the days. Wait, but you still did it. So, what was the problem? Well, they said it wasn't historically accurate. They said that only 1.5% was correct. So, is there anything you can do to get out of it? Well, there is one thing. What is it? We can reenact the first Christmas. I'll be baby Jesus. The only way I'll do that is if I get to be Jesus. What? He's the best part of the story. We'll just sue him. Yeah, guess that's the way to go. Ah! Ha ha, you'll never beat me. I'm your best friend, and I think I can beat you easily. Hey, Copper, I got a question. It's an easy one, I swear. Uh, make it quick. I'm in an intense battle. How do you sue someone? Well, that's easy. It's just, uh, uh, look, what's that over there? What? Oh, my back! Well, guess I won't see them until Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>